We're pulling down the heavens, but we're gathering energy from the earth. We pick it up, we get energy from the heavens, and we breathe out and push spiral through our body. So you're breathing in, just letting us set in our mind. We're leaving our daily life and going into our practice room. Breathe in, going down the heavens. Breathe out. We'll do one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, we're going to do movements, but there is one. Uh, this You see this a lot, so we'll just get this out of the way, which is uh, rubbing your meridian. Um, so if you... If you have nausea or seasickness or, or even some stomach pain, there's a meridian on your wrist. It's called pericardium uh, six. It's, so I'll show you how to do it. You rub that um, and that helps, especially like if you're having seasickness. You see it a lot, that's when they have the arm bands with the little bump on them that you put there and it pushes on that, mer that meridian. So you, uh, what you do is you put your arm out, you take your other three fingers, sorry, three fingers, and you put it there. And then on your wrist, put your thumb there, and that's where the meridian is. Now, if you make a fist, see there's like a little groove there. So your three fingers above the crease in your hand, there's a little indentation. You put your thumb in there, you push in and rub circularly. So, to, you push in a little bit. You don't cause yourself pain. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you can do the other side too. There. So, once again, this is to relieve nausea. So, it's used often for seasickness. This is the only meridian we're going to do. I just wanted to get it out of the way. There's other meridians that you press for certain things, but that one, if you're on a boat or something, and there's somebody there that knows about Chinese medicine, if you're feeling like seasick, they'll come over and rub that for you, but you can do it for yourself. All right, we've got our acupressure out of the way. Um, all right, next, the second uh, most basic thing is a lot of the movements we do have to do with turning our body or massaging our internal organs. We want we don't want to just sit all day and have not have our internal organs move. So a lot of the movements have to do with turning. And this helps not just our stomach, but all of our organs. Um, but the main one that you can do, so you're actually massaging your organs 24 hours a day, is abdominal breathing. And this is uh, when you start practicing anything, uh, <clears throat> they teach you abdominal breathing. Is when, you, when you're born... Babies breathe with their abdomen. If you lie down the table and you see their stomach going up and down, they actually breathe with your entire body. So you can see them They'll be breathing like that. As we get old, it all comes up and goes into our chest, going toward our, our, uh, yeah, our throat. So as we go, instead of like talking like this, as we get older, we, we end up in we just kind of rasping. We want to get that down. And so we're breathing with our abdomen again. So this is rejuvenation. We're returning to our youth. So to start with, the, there are a lot of ways of breathing, but uh, the main is called natural breathing. So put your thumbs in your navel and then just relax your shoulder. You want to hold your head, head up, straighten your back, and you're going to breathe in. And, and to start with, your, your abdomen goes out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. We're trying to release tension. That'll help our digestion by getting rid of that worry. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we'll do a couple more. I'm going to talk while you keep going. So you're going to breathe in. What we're trying to do is by pushing out here, we're trying to expand the lungs down here. They're like balloons. So we're pulling more oxygen, oxygen in. 
And our stomach's going in and out, so we're massaging our abdomen, so we're massaging our internal organs. Level two, if you already do, if you already do abdominal breathing, you want to get it. So you're doing this all all day. So your first practice, if you're just starting, is to, to practice abdominal breathing whenever you have a chance. Stop and make sure you're doing abdominal breathing, and eventually it becomes your natural way of breathing. So you do abdominal breathing. You look online. Breathe in, breathe out. It has literally a hundred benefits of doing abdominal breathing. Also, if you're advanced, you want to be not half dead, half alive. If you're, you don't want to just breathe with your abdomen, you want to kind of feel like there's a balloon here, so you want to push out against your kidneys coming in. So this whole area is going in and out. So we'll just do two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, so now you should get it so you eventually, that's your normal way of breathing 24 hours a day. That way you're continually massaging your internal organs. Uh, when you do meditation, martial arts, yoga, everything, they make you do abdominal breathing. So this is the way, way to go. Uh, if there are only two things you're going to do to improve your health, you do abdominal breathing and walking. Okay, you jump up a whole level. Okay, so uh, first, uh, what we want to do is we're going to, we do three um, warm-up exercises all the time, which are opening up our body to receive so we can just uh, get energy and fluids moving through our body. So the first one is we're just trying, it's called Shake the Nine Gates. So we start out, we're trying to get blood, which recedes from our extremities as we age, to go back out to our fingertips. So you're just really loose, trying to disperse some energy. The nine gates are your nine major joints, hip, knee, ankle, shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and upper, lower, and middle back. So we're trying to get those open. So here we are, we're just like opening up the body, getting some energy flowing. And now what we do is to shake the, this is, we're just shaking two of the gates here. Now we're gonna shake all nine gates by going go up and down. So we're going, you're bending your knees, try to, you probably can't hear that, but all my furniture is creaking. Uh, so loose, you wanna turn side to side. Once again, we're turning side to side, we're massaging those internal organs. We're, Lifting our rib cage up and letting it drop a bit. Uh, 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 uh. We want the skin to move over the muscles, the muscles move over the bones. Little, our knees are soft, but we're trying to get a little shock wave. We're trying to break up the adhesion in our internal organs. And then turn it back and forth. All right, and then throw energy out those fingertips. Just relax. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, the next one is, once again, it's to get our internal organs loosened up a bit. So it's called Dragon Shakes and Whiskers. So you start out, you're turning, your hips, are, your hands come as, they're loose, so I'm not doing this. My, my waist is turning my shoulders, and then that just throws my hands over there, and I go back. So if you were doing it too fast, you like that. But we're going slowly, and then this hand can come, and it can hit under your ribs. That's uh, called liver 14. That's trying to activate our internal organs. So, but we're just going loose, and now we want to loosen up our neck, open up our neck so that blood can get to our brains good thing. So as you turn, now your chin is going to follow your shoulders and your chin's going back and forth. You're not forcing anything. And now we want to engage our brain, which is also good. So what you do is you pick a point on each side. You just go, you focus, you focus. So you're getting it. As soon as you turn, you pick your point, focus your eyes. That's keeping your brain engaged. It's one of the differences between just doing mindless exercise and doing qigong. If you want to use all parts of your body and your brain. And then if you can, 
You want to start moving those points closer together. And then perhaps if you have the flexibility, don't worry if you don't, you get it so you're looking at the same point. Turn, look at your point, turn, look at your point. So this is dragon chicks and whiskers. That's the second warm-up one. And the third one is uh, willow bends in the breeze. So we're, this is a crescent pose. This is the one where you have to be careful. You have to know your own body if you have any kind of spinal problems. Because we're kind of we're trying to separate what we're trying to do with the backbone is we're trying to separate the vertebrae a bit. We're coming up and we're pushing each direction. We're not twisting. We want to keep the back straight, and then we're bending it. So we're bending it at the same time. What's happening here is this is stretching. That's opening up those meridians, getting the kinks out of our nervous system, and then on this side. Now it's, we're squeezing, we're massaging the internal organs. If you want to engage your neck again to warm up your neck, you can look at the floor as you lean. So much going on. And of course, abdominal breathing. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, these, so these movements we've done so far are opening up our body, so they're generally, they're good for digestion in your stomach too, but they're good for like all your organs because you're basically massaging, getting some warmth into your, into your abdomen, getting any stickiness in your internal organs by moving them back and forth. All right, so we're a little bit warmed up. So made a list of some, <laughs> some things that we're going to do. All right, the, first, the next one is still somewhat in line with this of turning, turning our, our body and stretching. Once again, that, that moves our internal organs, massages them, and it opens things up gets the kinks out of our nervous system. So what we're gonna do is, in this one, we're also gonna work on the inside of our legs. It's called Scholar Opens the Scroll. So you're here, you're holding, you have your scroll, you push, open one end, but your palm is flat like you're trying to palm the heavens, and the other one, you're palming the earth. So you're palming the heaven and earth. There's a movement that's similar to this called um, Splitting heaven and earth. But what we're going to do with this is we have our feet. If you're not worried about your balance, your heels are together, your feet are 45. And then as we breathe out, we're going to turn and look over our shoulder. We're going to come back, switch hands, breathe in, breathe out. What, how much you look behind, if you can, you look all the way behind, but otherwise just go by whatever your current flexibility is. Breathe in, breathe out. So now I'll go over. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, this is a general one. This, Helps all of our organs, plus it breathe out, gets the kinks out of our nervous system, just helps to relax our body. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. All right, so that's the, all the things we've done up till now is just, they're all good for your digestion. Yeah, they're good for clearing your mind, relaxing your body and massaging all your internal organs. Uh, we'll do a couple now that are specific <laughs> to your stomach. So the first first one we'll do is uh, bear rubs the stomach. So what you're gonna do is you can either use a fist or you can use your palms. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come, you're gonna come up the right side of your body. This is the direction of the flow of food 
through your um, intestines. So you're going to come up the right side of your body. I, I make a fit. You can just do it with your hands if you want, but you, otherwise you can make a fist. So you're pushing in. So you have like a little ball. You're rolling across. Comes up, goes across, comes down. So we're basically circling. So you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We'll do one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. So now we're going to do level two. So you don't want to just be doing this because when you can do more, so you come up and then as you go across, you can turn your body. So your shoulders, your hips don't, aren't turning, but your shoulders are turning. And that's, of course, doing a torque on your body. Once again, so that's giving some internal massage. Come on over here, look over. These are to relax the stomach and to massage to get the fluid and food moving through. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then breathe in, come up the right. Like your hips, you're not swinging back and forth. Your, your shoulder, your hips are staying straight. Your shoulders are turning. So you're making a torque on your body. But get those organs massaged. Okay, so that's bear rubs the stomach. Uh, uh, the next one, the other thing is, what's the direction of energy for your stomach? Well, you eat, and then you're trying to push it out the bottom. So... Another movement is just you, you make light fists, you come up and you just rubbing down the center of your body. You can start on your sternum and then just come down. You can breathe in, breathe out, you breathe in, and then you can breathe out. You're just going up and down the center. So when your hands come up, they're not touching your body. You're, they rub along your body on the way down. We're just trying to relax and breathe with our abdomen. Once again, there's two things we're trying to do. One thing is get the direction of energy flowing. So the food's going through our bodies easily. But the other thing is it's relaxing. Worry, remember worry is the negative energy is so emotion associated with the stomach, so we want to calm ourselves. That will help our digestion and it just our lives in general if we can stop worrying about everything. So we're just going down. This is just directing the energy down. Okay, so one other thing we're going to do for is uh, in Chinese medicine, um, you you have the organs, and there's multiple things associated with the organs. Like, uh, so we have our stomach; it's an earth organ, um, so uh, it has the color earth. Is the color of the earth is uh, it's late summer? Every all the grains are yellow. Um, uh, and they have sounds associated with it. So, uh, like for instance, the heart, they want, they observe and they see that when you, something happens, your body makes a sound to show that emotion. So actually, if you want to control that emotion in that, um, in that organ, you, you make the sound uh, and try to purge out the negative part. Like for the heart, you see something and you just go, ah. Oh. So if you want to get negative emotion out of your heart, you, you breathe in. And you make the sound and you try to push out anxiety. 
as you do it. Well, if the stomach is worried, what do you do when you see something go, oh, oh. So, <laughs> so to get rid of worry, you make that sound. You, you, you're going to make a fist and put it um, just below your navel. You get to breathe in. Put your feet. We're going to bend over a bit. So you want your feet about shoulder width apart. You can come up. You can arch your back slightly. Look up. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're going to bend. We'll bend our knees a bit. We're going to. We're not bending over like this. We, that'll hurt our back. Plus, put us off balance. You want to. You want to more, you're compressing this. So you're coming in and start, you're going forward, but that's because you're squeezing, using your rib cage to squeeze your organs. So you're going to breathe in and then, oh. You want to push out as much stale energy as you can. So you breathe in golden energy because it's yellow, it's the stomach, and then, oh. Oh. So once again, this is the same thing. You're putting pressure on your stomach. Is it, this is the sound you're trying to expel energy and emotion, negative energy and emotion from your stomach, but at the same time, we're doing the same thing. We're opening it up. That means fresh fluids and energy can flow into our stomach, and then we breathe out, we squeeze it, we're compressing it, and that's pushing out everything negative, and it's pushing. So we got the energy thing going down, so it's pushing energy down, but we're also squeezing out negative emotions, trying to get rid of that worry in our stomach. So a lot of these things you can do before you go to bed um, to try to relax your stomach a bit before you go into bed. So that was the sound. Um, now another one, this one's a little uh, slightly different. You're trying to like activate your stomach. And so you can do this like before, 20 minutes before you eat. So you make a light fist. You're just going to hit hit your body. So you can just come up. You can come up. You can start. You can put your hands together and you can come up like one side. And you're just you're not hit, you're not hitting hard unless of course you're a martial artist studying at the Shaolin Temple trying to build up the iron body but what we're trying to do is we're just hitting we're trying to send a little bit of shock wave in there tell our tell our stomach to wake up to get ready we're going to give it some food all these things are fairly gentle we're trying to we're basically trying to make our our body healthy by Either. In this case, we're stimulating it to do a better job because we're about to eat some food. Or the other things is we're trying to drive out worry. We try to drive out the negative emotion in our organs by the sounds and various different things so that uh, they function better. There's, there's not all this pressure and tension in there. And then, of course, just trying to get energy and fluids to flow through. Okay, so that's it. So the air rubs its stomach, relax things up a bit. Right, let me see if what you got anything else on the list? Ah, pebble in the pond. Okay, this one is a very relaxing one. So I'll do it from the front first. So you're here, your back slightly arched. You're not you you never you don't want to lock your legs, but your back, you're looking up slightly. Uh, you just breathe, breathe in. Now you're going to breathe out, so your hands are going to come. They come and they spread. You lean. You're not leaning forward a lot, but you're leaning forward. It's like your hands are going out on the surface of a pond. And then they're going to come back in as you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. From the front, breathe in. 
Move you down. These are all to relax you. That you want to get the like the tension and the worry out of your stomach so it can digest better. Now. Breathe in. Breathe out. So your hands coming in, looking at the surface of the water, turning over, you're arching it, arching your back slightly. Breathe out, relaxing, you're pushing, you're leaning forward, but you're not, once again, you're not leaning forward like this. You're kind of com compressing, you're using your rib cage to compress your internal organs. So you're massaging your internal organs while you're doing this, but you'll be listening to music and just try to drive out that worry. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So you can use these as meditation. You just relax your mind. Try to just feel the calmness come in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So that's pebble in, pebble in the pond. Let me just see if I had anything else. The healing sound, scholar of the skull. Okay, I guess I did everything on the on the list. Um, the only other thing, I guess, we, I'll just quickly do this. You can go on our site. There's a whole uh, class on meditation. Um, but obviously, the other thing you do to, is to try to. To, to meditate, just to have energy flow through your body, calmly breathing. So the first thing is, have your feet above. We'll just go through it quickly. Um, you can go on the site for the one of the meditation classes. Um, your feet are butt, shoulder width apart. You're, you never lock your knees. Your knees are relaxed. You don't lock your joints because that would stop energy from flowing through. So your, your pelvis, you don't want your pelvis to get out. Your pelvis is slightly rounded. You're trying to get your back to be more of a straight line. And then your neck's being pulled up. You're trying to make energy flow up your back to your brain. That's what we're working on. So we're there. And we're going to do our abdominal breathing. So you're breathing in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, but of course this would be just too simple. So what we're doing here is secondly, if, if you're not doing anything in particular with your arms, you still want to have uh, your, it's like you have a an egg or a ping pong ball under your, um, in your armpits, because you don't want to go like this. This is cutting off energy flowing out to your extremities. So. They're open. In this case, we're Earth. Earth is the most stable one. So what we're doing is you take your middle finger. It's like you've got a cable attached to your finger. We're making a pyramid, a triangle with our body that's stable. We're having energy go out. So we're breathing in. Breathe out. This is a per earth posture. Breathe in. Breathe out. You breathe in, your abdomen goes out. Now, it's too simple. Of course, there's even more stuff going on here. When you breathe in, your tongue and your eyes, your tongue goes to the top of your mouth and your eyes go up. Then when you breathe out, you want to compact your internal organs. You're not doing it really forcefully, but we're just trying to get energy flowing. You want to pull up your your diaph uh, your pelvic floor, push down your diaphragm, pull in your ribs. You gently compacting your internal organs, and then you relax everything. You breathe in, tongue goes up, eyes go up. Breathe out, they drop down, and now you gently pull in everything. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. But I know you're saying, Kurt, we're doing Qigong. What about our mind? So we're going to do, we're going to do some visualization in this case too. So we breathe in. Our feet are attached to the earth. So we breathe in. We're pulling in golden energy from the earth. It's filling our bodies. Our whole torso is filled with it. And as we breathe out, it goes down our arms past our wrist and flows back into the earth through our, through our middle finger. That's our, our middle finger. That's our power finger. That's where pericardium eight ends. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You know, you just want to relax everything. Your shoulders are really relaxed. We're just trying to get that energy, pulling in energy, filling our body full of energy, and then breathing out. Very relaxed, but everything's open. Our spine straight so the energy flows up, flow up through our entire body. Breathe out. Do two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so now we're gonna come back. We're gonna reach up, one's gonna, we're gonna pull up energy, get energy from the heavens, breathe out. Now we're pulling down the heavens again, but now we're walking out the other way. We're leaving our practice room, going back to our daily lives. Breathe out, one more, breathe in. Breathe out. Before we go, we clap our hands and say, body, mind, body, mind. <laughs> clap our hands because we did something. Congratulate ourselves for doing something good. And body, mind, we did something good for our body and our mind. All right. We're going to um, have a question and answer for a few minutes. If anybody happens to have any questions, um, there's a slight delay. It's like I'm halfway to Mars, which is when I say something, they send it out to the cloud. And it takes about two minutes to get to you, and then it, uh, and then if you were, if you were to ask me a question, I wouldn't see it for two minutes. But what happens now is uh, you can type when you go on the chat, you can type in a question, and Peggy will see it upstairs, and she's calling me. So she'll forward any question to me, and I'll try to answer it. Um, in the meantime, I just wanted to remember. You can watch this again, review this on our site, Quality of Life Now, Q O L Now dot com. Um, you go to the Sunday Review page. Uh, you can go if you want. We are it's a free lesson, but we uh, accept any donations that people want to give. We we appreciate that you're trying to give a hand and help us. Or if you want, um, you can go on the site, and we have memberships. We have a free membership which allows you to see some of the lessons. And if you have a premium membership, uh, it's $4 a week. Um, you can, you can see all the lessons for the last two years. We've been, we've been doing it for more than two years now. All right. Peggy, any questions? Hold on. Okay. Is that hold on or none? So hold on for a second. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> all right. I had to step away. All right. Peggy's uh, away from the chat room for a second, but she's, she'll be back there in a minute. Um, All right. Why do the three closing gestures only go to one side rather than alternate sides? Okay, why do the three closing gestures go to only one side instead of alternate sides? Actually, um, what I do is I come up on the right side, so I gather the yin energy, and then I come up. Uh, I might not do it because I'm talking, not paying attention, but you come up, then you get some yang energy, and then as you breathe out, you spiral it through your body, and it goes down to the other side. So you're actually, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So, I hope that helped. Okay, any other questions? When's the best time to do stomach exercises? When's the best time to do stomach exercises? Um, 
these, well, it depends what you're, you're doing. Like sometimes it's good to do them. If you're trying to drive out where it's, it's good, like to do them before you go to bed, because that way you try to drive out the worry. So when you lie down, you can go to sleep because you're not worrying about things. Uh, the ones where you're hitting your, your stomach, you're trying to actually kind of activate your stomach. So that's good to do before, um, before you eat. But uh, the other ones you can do any time during the day there, you know, there's the one on the wrist that you do. You can do it when you're, having seasick, but also if you're feeling just nauseous in general, or it also is, since it's activating, trying to soothe your stomach, that also can be used if you're feeling worry and stuff, you can, you can use that meridian, it's pericardium PC6, it's here on your wrist. And the other ones, you can just do generally, um, you know, they're, they're, they're to improve your health and get rid of uh, worry, so you can just do them they're, they're ones I do call it opportunistic practice where uh, you're waiting in line, you know, at Dunkin' Donuts for your coffee and your donut. You know, this is a probably good time to work on your digestion. But if you're waiting, if your kitchen, you're waiting for your toast to pop up or something, you can just try to, you know, soothe yourself, soothe your, your stomach by doing, by doing the motions then. So you can do them, you can do them any time during the day. Um, how do I keep my shoulders down? <laughs> how do I keep my shoulders down? The reason I laughed is because uh, all the, when, when you do Tai Chi, you go to, you, you go to school and of course you see, you know, uh, people are practicing everything. You're supposed to have your shoulders relaxed, but you'll see people like they're, First time they've done the movements and they're nervous and they'll be like, it's not working. I'm not feeling relaxed. That's because, <laughs> sorry, I'm having spasms in my neck now. It's pulling me up too hard. So you just have to practice. You have to, you have to keep your, your, them relaxed and you just have to practice moving. One of the things that helps with a lot of the movements is you're being aware of your elbows. If you're, a lot of movements, you, when you're doing it, if people bring their elbows up and look at my shoulders, see, then you're like, I don't understand why my shoulders relax. So if you keep your elbows below your hands when you're doing the movements, or even lower, see that drops. You, you don't want your, your shoulders to be tight because that stops energy. And blood from flowing up to your brain and that's that's a bad thing so and a lot of it just you want the energy to be flowing freely through your body and one of the main things is to keep your shoulders relaxed and you can tell if they're relaxed <clears throat> by keeping them down but you don't want to force them down you want to keep them down by relaxing your arms you know and you can kind of keep your head straight but you want to keep your shoulders relaxed i don't know if that helped. But like I said, I usually notice when people have one of the, it's up, it's because they're, they're doing this instead of doing this. You want your, you want your elbows, you don't want to be scrunching the other way. So you're pulling them in, but your elbows, you don't want your elbows up. That's going to tighten up your shoulders. Okay. Any other questions? How many times do you do stomach exercise? How many times? You do stomach exercise, okay. Um, a lot of the things, when you, when you do a lot of Qigong movements, uh, you, you can do, it depends. If I'm, if I'm doing by breath, sometimes I just do like nine breaths, but a lot of, but a lot of the times when you do a form, they, they have you do 36, right? So you do like 30, you know, 36, you rub 36 times. Um, nine is also a, a, a special number. So you breathe in and you breathe out. And, you know, I, I often do like nine. If I'm just in a little bit of a hurry, I'll, I'll try to relax for nine breaths, do it for nine breaths. But otherwise, like if you do forms, uh, there's a lot of, I mean, right now I'm practicing something called uh, Seated eight brocades, and most of the movements there, when you do them, 
you, you, you do them 36 times. Any other questions? Oh. Uh, what's the website? Tell them the website again. Okay, type type it in too. It's qolnow.com. Well, the name of our company is Quality of Life Now because that's what we're doing. We're going to do our qigong and improve our health and make just be able to move, you know, uh, wildly through, you know, calmly through life with balance and good internal organs. Um, so that's quality of life now. So it's qolnow.com. All right. Any other questions? No. All right. So practice these. I hope these help you. Uh, uh, I guess the other thing you can do to protect your stomach is don't overeat it. All these things are making us go to right now. And uh, okay, keep practicing. We'll, we'll see you next week. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks is, if you're still there, uh, because there's all the Christmas stuff going on uh, over the next month, several times, I'm just going to record. I'm going to record a lesson so you can come. Uh, we won't have a live lesson, but I'll still give have a, a a recorded lesson. So if you try to come at this time on Sunday, you'll still get your lesson. All right, keep practicing. <laughs>